hunting whitetails in Illinois has definitely been a challenge for me this season. We're hunting the world famous Grigsby Farm and man, the guys have had some success. I've had to sit back and watch all the other guys on Savage Outdoors kill some of the best bucks on the property. It's been a great season. Tons of great bucks hitting the ground. For me, this story really started back in January when we first knew we leased the property. We started studying topo maps, scouting, shed hunting. Throughout the summer, planting food plots, hanging stands, putting all our cameras out, we ran over 50 spy point cameras on this piece of property. It was really the only way on a piece of property this big to get a true inventory of what bucks we had. Biggest management buck you'll ever shoot. <laughs> Nobody's got more time in the tree on the Grigsby farm in 2014 than I do. I've seen tons of deer, had tons of great encounters. I just haven't got that one opportunity at that giant, mature, whitetail buck. The season's coming to a close. We've gone through the entire bow season. We're at shotgun season number one. Man, I hope I can get one of these giant whitetails to step in range so my season in Illinois doesn't end without my tag filled. An animal true to its ferocious nature is savage and untamed uninhabitable and unwelcoming place is savage a relentless fierce wild person is savage Savage. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy, and Field and Stream, where traditions begin. The Elite Shootability Challenge. Go take it. Go to your local pro shop. Check out what Elite has out there today. The new Synergy, the Energy 35, the Energy 32. These bows are the smoothest drawn, best shooting bows I've ever shot, and that's why I made the switch. Take the Elite Shootability Challenge. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. When we're on trips, traveling all over the country, North America really, doing hunts here on Savage Outdoors, there's one thing that is very important and we always have in our bag or our pack when we're traveling. That's our Otis cleaning kits, so we can keep our guns looking good and shooting good no matter where we're at or what hunt we're on. These kits are small, don't take up hardly any room, and every kit has everything you could possibly need to keep your gun shooting like you want it. Otis Technologies. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad Boy Buggies, Bushnell Optics, Hunter Safety System, Spy Point and most innovative trail and action cameras, True Glow, Wacom Broadheads, Conquest Sense, Realtree, Family, Friends, and the Outdoors, Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Fusion Ammunition, Tough, Accurate, Lethal, 10 Point Crossbows, Thermocell, Nature Blinds, 
Otis Technologies, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Raptor Razor, the ultimate field dressing knives. Well, after a super long bow season here in Illinois, a bit frustrating for me getting to watch all the guys kill all these great bucks, Uncle Randy, Vaughn, some of the guys from Realtree. Uh, I really want to get on one of these big whitetails. I went home, regrouped a little bit, came back, checked the spy point cameras, and there's bucks everywhere, just like there has been all season, but there's one stand location. I've never sat it before, and there's two shooter bucks there. First morning of shotgun season in Illinois, First light, we've got some action starting right away. I hear something behind this door, right? I can't really see around there very good, but I hear something in the leaves. Tell me when I can move, I gotta get up. side of the tree. My right. I bet there's a lot of limbs. Hi, I'm Mike Stroff. I have a question for you. For all you guys out there shooting mechanical broadheads, why would you shoot a mechanical broadhead and take the risk of not getting that pass through if you had a fixed blade cut on impact head that'll fly as good or better than any mechanical in the industry? Check out Wacom Broadheads. Hey, I tell you what, on Savage Outdoors, after a long day of hunting and we got all the guys in camp, big crew here, we're hungry. We come in from a hunt and we don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing a big meal or after a big meal having to clean it up. And that's why we love our can cooker. You can cook anything in 45 minutes and it's some of the best food I've ever eaten. Check out a can cooker. I promise you one thing, you'll love the food that comes out of it. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. He's down. Oh. Slug City, baby. Good job. Good spot, big buck. That's the buck I got the pictures of. Yeah, that's the buck I got the pictures of. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good spot. Steven saw that sucker behind us. That's the buck I got the pictures of. Making scrapes. Shooting with the 220, baby. Here to Grigsby. Yeah! Big buck, good job. And he was eye level, that's how crazy this hill is. It's the first time 
I've ever sat in this stand. All those days I've sat in all those spots trying to kill those big deer. <sighs> oh, feels good to finally get my Illinois buck on the ground. Long time coming. Uh, I sure felt like I was overdue to get an opportunity like that. You know, and it really shows you using those spy point cameras, how I was gone for about a week, come back, check the cameras, and I instantly know where the bucks have been. Uh, doesn't mean you're gonna kill one, but it definitely puts you in that perfect spot where you have the best opportunity at a buck. Uh, if I hadn't checked my cameras, I probably would not have killed this deer. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait. That buck should be laying right there. Long time coming on this property in Illinois. We've been hunting this place hard with the bow. Everybody else has done really well and killed some great bucks. And it's finally my turn to shoot a good mature deer. I really don't know how big the rack was. I looked, it was a good mature buck. I needed to break the ice, so I did. Gun is clear. As excited as I am, I don't need to walk up there with a loaded gun. I'm pretty sure I saw him fall right there. First morning, open and day shotgun season, Illinois. Let's check him out. Got him, he's right there. Big buck. Yep, that's that big eight point. Yeah. God, look at the body on this thing. Action's open on my gun. Wow, look at that. How about a big old Illinois whitetail for shotgun season opening morning? Gosh, look at that. That's the buck I had the picture of the other day for sure. And then when I came in here checking cameras, I saw a big 10 down there and I'm like, probably ought to go sit there. Two shooters there in two days. Come in there first light making a scrape and we got him with shotgun. Wow, what a buck. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. Look at those brows. I mean, that's just a big old deer. <laughs> I love it. Every hunter has experienced this. Getting your boots wet, you're out on some big trip, you come in and you've gotta go back out pretty quick and you gotta put wet boots back on. It's miserable, especially when it's cold and there's no reason for it. Check out Pete's shoe dryers. Every day when we come in, we throw our boots on, even if we haven't got them wet, cause it makes your boots last longer. It dries up any sweat, keeps the odor out of your boots and it just makes them last longer. Check out Pete's shoe dryers. Let's get back to Savage Outdoors. You know, here on Savage Outdoors, we hunt all over the country. We've got multiple properties that we hunt. I'm an outfitter as well, and I've got over 200 trail cams in the field that I'm using throughout the whole season. I do not have time for cameras not to work or cameras to fail me. When I get to a location, I've got to know where the bucks are. I've got to be able to get on them and up my odds at an opportunity at a good deer. With my clients and my outfitting businesses, same thing, when my guides go run the cameras, they've got to be working. And that's why we use spy point cameras. These cameras are awesome. They never let us down. We get up to 15,000 pictures on a set of batteries. If you want a great trail cam, check out Spy Point Cameras. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Wild Game Innovations Buck Commander Hex Feeder. Sets up quick and brings deer in fast. Evolved Harvest Throw and Grow Extreme Oats. Grow more groceries per acre. Campbell Cameras, huge inventory reduction sales going on now. Crossbreed holsters, carry concealed, carry comfortably, carry the cross. Cooler Buck, portable walk-in cooler system. Well, first day of shotgun season started off perfect. I got my buck down. Uh, all the other guys are in locations with big bucks. Uncle Randy has decided he's going to hunt Larry's Corner. You drop off this big hill down into the bottom and there's a corn patch down there. He sat here twice. He's seen bucks both times. Uh, 
cousin Larry, uh, used to hunt this property with us years ago. Uh, you know, he passed away a couple years ago and uh, this is his corner. We named it after him. And Randy's asking Larry for a little bit of help on this hunt. Well, me and Larry had a little talk this morning after that buck come through, and uh, I didn't think he was going to answer me. And then all of a sudden, Jacob tapped me on the shoulder, and he said he heard a stick break up there. Looked up there, and that buck was standing there. Well, it's been about 45 minutes. Let's go. Just right here. Right here. Right there is blood. Yeah, we're headed to Texas. <laughs> oh. We walked up right on from the deer. I didn't even see him laying there. Oh. Gun's clear. Look at the size look at of the, that deer. Oh, man. Gosh, look at that. Look at the beams, man. That's what we were talking about earlier. We got to get rid of these big eights. We've done a good job of that. Now, granted, we wanted to kill some of these bigger bucks, but these deer got to go. This is what we need to do. Mine's a 10. He's got two little points right Yeah, they range from West Virginia. <laughs> Counts everything. <laughs> cool, man. Congratulations. That's a great Thanks deer. Thanks a lot, bud. It's a good way to finish up Illinois gun season. Let's go to Texas. I want to go so bad. I can't stand it. <laughs> cool. All right. Perfect end to our series here filming on the Grigsby Farm in Illinois, our five show series, and we've had a ton of fun bringing this to you. Uh, we got to start th working on this property back in January. We worked all the way through the spring. We shed hunted, we turkey hunted, started hanging stands, planting food plots, getting everything ready for the fall through the whole summer. Finally, the fall gets here, and I'll tell you what, the guys have scored on some great bucks. I mean, we've killed some great deer. Uh, Uncle Randy kills Chubbs, a deer that everybody was after. Vaughn kills one of the bucks that we found the sheds from in the summer. I mean, this has just been a great season. Uh, and then shotgun season gets here, and we finish it off with a bang. First morning out, I was able to kill a deer, finally breaking the ice for myself here in Illinois. Uncle Randy, last morning of the shotgun season, kills a buck he had seen two days before. I tell you, the Grigsby Farm, one of the best whitetail properties in the country. You've heard me say this for the last five weeks, and I'm gonna keep saying it. We're gonna be back next year. We're gonna do it again right here. And uh, I just wanna thank the Grigsby family for uh, allowing us to hunt this great property, letting us work with them on the management. And I hope over the next couple of years, we're gonna make this place better and better and better. We'll see you next week right here on Savage Outdoors. This segment of Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Evolved Harvest Premium Forage Seed. This is not your row crop seed bought at a co-op. This forage seed doesn't die once it's nipped. Evolved Harvest continues to grow all season long, producing more groceries per acre and ultimately more deer on your land to hunt. Hey, I want to take a quick second. 
uh, and talk to you about another one of the great feeds that Wild Game Innovations come out with, the Bucker Up. Uh, this is the ripened apple. Uh, basically what this is is an apple trail mix. Uh, it's a powder attractant. With this product, you put it out. Uh, I put it right here just a couple feet in front of my camera. You know, and all the deer passing by are gonna come by and try this. I mean, typically, uh, if I feed the same feed over and over in the same area, once they try it and they like it, they're gonna keep coming back to it. Uh, and we use it during the season and after the season to see what bucks made it through the season. Uh, Bucker up, ripen apple from Wild Game Innovations. Check it out, try it, it works. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, the definition of accuracy. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. Bad Boy Buggies. Bushnell Optics. Hunter Safety System. Spy Point and most innovative trail and action cameras. True Glow. Ten Point Crossbows. Conquest Sense. Wacom Broadheads. Elite Archery the world's most shootable bow. Can cooker. Field and stream. Fusion ammunition. Tough, accurate, lethal. Thermocell. Nature blinds. Peat shoe dryer. And Raptor razor, the ultimate field dressing knives.